In this video, I just wanted to share some tips for backwater tarpon. These are typically going to be your juvenile tarpon, anywhere from a couple pounds up to possibly uh, 10, 20, maybe even 30 pounds, depending on the area. So I want to talk about my favorite lure choice for these fish and also uh, some different retrieve styles when targeting these fish with this particular lure. Now my go-to lure, for starters, is going to be a white pearl gulp swimming mullet that is a four inch uh, basically curly tail grub and I like to rig these on a 1 8 ounce to a quarter ounce jig head the depth is going to play a big part in you know how heavy you want to go anything less than four feet four to five feet I like to go with a 1 8 ounce jig head and then anything deeper than that I will go with a quarter ounce and then I have also realized that color sort of matters quite a bit with the jig head color um, when I'm fishing in a little bit cleaner water um, you know it's kind of stained not too murky I'll go with a red jig head and then if the water is pretty murky and stirred up very dirty I'll go with a chartreuse colored jig head now as far as retrieving these lures this is going to be very important because I found this is sort of the biggest factor that will determine whether or not those fish strike or not. They are never really dialed into one specific type of retrieve all the time. Uh, what you'll find is that sometimes they will want something slow and steady being dragged along the bottom. Sometimes they want it slow and steady up at top. Sometimes you may have to do a very quick, twitchy, erratic retrieve and that will get their attention. So you really have to play around with it. Don't just go with one constant steady retrieve uh, the whole time and get frustrated that they're not biting. You have to be patient, experiment with it, and wait till you uh, pretty much dial in on what those fish react to the best. And also when I first start out, I always start out with a slow steady retrieve because that will uh, typically not spook the fish as much as a quick erratic retrieve will. So start slow and gradually start getting faster with your retrieve. Now for this tarpon here, I was actually doing a mixture of a straight steady retrieve with a few twitches mixed in. And that seemed to be what they were responding to the most, so I stuck with that. Tarpon. Now a quick tip here when you're fighting these fish, just like bigger tarpon, when they jump you want to point your rod to the fish, just like I did right there. Because there's a very you know, sudden change in force and pressure on your line when they go to dart and jump out of the water. So you want to take away some of that pressure by, you know, pointing your rod, pushing your rod out towards the fish. That relieves some of that pressure, helps avoid them from breaking you off. Now the only downfall is because you're reducing the pressure on the fish when they go to jump, if there's too much slack in your line, they can easily uh, throw or spit your hook. So keep that in mind. Nice little tarpon. So this is my good old reliable small tarpon bait. It's a gulp swimming mullet. I believe this is a four inch. It's a white pearl and I put it on a red or a chartreuse a one eighth ounce jig head. It tore my line up pretty good so I'm just going to cut that and retie. Now if you did enjoy this footage and you want to see exactly where good spots like this will be depending on the time of day, time of year, different tides, all sorts of factors definitely come into play, be sure to check out our Salt Strong Insider Club where we do weekly reports and we guarantee you'll start catching more fish in less time. So if you have any questions or comments about this video, definitely be sure to leave them down below. Also, if you have any additional tips you would like to share when it comes to targeting juvenile tarpon in backwater areas, definitely let us know as well. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.